Hello humanoids, my name is Christian Hirstan, and today we are going to be having a review of Star Trek 2. Star Trek 2 is a combination of real-time tactics space combat, turn-based empire control and turn-based ground combat. I would also add some role-playing elements and then have a game that tries to do everything but fails to do so. Let's be honest, there is no perfect game out there, you will always find something, but this game doesn't qualify as a release, and I'll explain why. I'll first talk about bad points. Diplomacy compared to predecessor got totally overlooked. What I mean by that is that it works terrible and some parts are missing. There are multiple situations where you will be declared war by a species you are super friendly just for colonizing your own home system. Even on easy difficult. And I tried all of them. There is only one path which game goes and that's the whole destruction of your opponents. If the game would have a little more diplomacy and victory options, it would be more intriguing. Second agenda is the AI. Now I got used to cheating in most games, but here the AI cheats to such a degree that it's appalling, and he still can cope with a player. So in general, the AI should be vastly improved and reduce the amount of cheating in the process. I play on hard now, since it gives the most interesting war situations. I did read that people had issues on easy and normal, but that means you don't have good ship designs. Ground combat and events for ground combat needs to be remade. At the moment I don't find it fun at all. And if I can during any planet conquest, I just skip it by bombing the planet and then conquering the empty garrison. The event part feels highly repetitive and what do I mean by that is that when you do it two or three times, you'll figure that you won't be needing it at all. I just usually skip it all together now. Planets don't have any automatization, and when you have 50 or more planets to manage, you will click a lot if you want to upgrade them to max. The game also starts to slow down in mega battles, especially when there is a lot of fighters and missiles, but I can blame my PC with that. Still, some more optimization would be nice. This might not necessarily be bad, but I would like the multiplayer in this game, because at the moment, there is none. Now that I covered the bad things, let's talk about good parts. The research aspect I find great, because you will never be able to get all the technologies during the game. It forces you to make a decision from a certain field by taking only one of three choices. You can still get the other two choices if you conquer a planet and you have assimilation technology or assimilation trade, or you can trade it with other species. Customizing your ship is a lot of fun, because you want to make that perfect ship design that will destroy everything. You can also refit ships to better designs and so on. I usually spend half of the game time in this area. Space combat is a lot of fun, especially when you destroy the enemy fleets that outnumber you 10 to 1. I also like that the game allows you to customize your ground troops with weapons and abilities. The heroes that come into your service can be a great benefit, as a ship commander, ground unit, or a system or, pla or plant manager and some have quests or even events for you. Each species forces you to play differently, and each of them have a different ship design. That gives a lot of replay value. If that's not enough, you can customize each species straight, so suddenly you have sub subterranean bears, which then give you planet space, or you can just sacrifice population. The game can be improved upon greatly, and with more ship designs, better diplomacy, and improvements to AI. Also, the exp expanding the game with more events and ground combat. There are also mods which I'm yet to try because the game is still fresh from release, and I don't want to try and finish mods since I'm still having mega fun with vanilla. All in all, even with all the bad things, since I had to wait for the game to be patched a few times to actually work, and now it's super stable, I had a mega amount of fun with designing, the fighting, and nuking the planets, kicking ass the air that's dumb, but cheats a lot, it's immensely satisfying. Overall, I like the game, and so far I spent more than 100 hours in it. I didn't mention the graphics and audio at all, but they feel in tune with the game, and I like them. The UI feels nicely made, and the game looks decent, and that's enough for me, because remember, my PC is a piece of junk, and usually, if I can run the game, so can anyone. My name was Supreme Emperor of Kulrati Empire, Kutsukista, and this was a review of Star Drive 2. I hope this will help you to decide if you want to buy the game or not. Until next time, may the bear spirit watch over you.